everyone, and welcome back to my playthrough of Control. As you can see, I've switched positions, and the reason for this is because, in my brilliant mind, um, I actually was covering my health bar the past two videos, and I didn't realize it until I recorded the second video. Um, so, yeah, I have now fixed that issue. Hopefully it won't be a continuing issue going forward with the other games. But yes, um, I'm raring to go. It's been a little while again since I played Control, but I'm here and I am willing to put in the time. I want to do this. A lot of these questions could be asked. It, it sounds like I'm being held under my will, against my will playing this game. But no, I really do want to play. Um, <clears throat> yeah, it has been, again, uh, a little bit of a while since I played. Uh, you know, life happens and... Not say I've forgotten everything yet. I know the map button this time, so that's no problem. Um, but doing a quick, uh, quick recap. Last episode, we hit up the hotline and talked to the board directly, and then we, yeah, we also went to the Ocean View Motel and found out that it has more secrets than, um, than more. It has more than meets the eye, basically. And what did we do afterwards? We fought Tomasi. Well, we fought Tomasi before that. And then, um, what, what did we do? Here? But we don't have the proper facilities. Maybe we can bring in an observation unit from the containment Maybe. sector. Maybe. But regardless. I know we talked with Emily again for a little while. Oh, Ati. Yes. We, we met with Ati inside the, um, the basement areas. Uh, we beat, some, we beat out some hiss there and stopped the whole building from exploding and... Took out some trash in a sentient um, fireplace. Yeah. Yeah, that, that's basically what happened. But, yeah. Let's go. Jesse, Let's talk to Emily. You made it. I did. And you lifted the internal lockdown. I did. Let's that's what we did. Emily. Yes, of course. Yes. She's like me. She's like, yeah, you remember all that shit you did? Yeah. Listen, Emily. Yep. Oh, yeah, she was going to talk about Dylan. Just tell yes. Her. Yeah. I haven't been completely honest. I have a younger brother. The look on her face. Dylan. When we were kids, we found an old slide projector in Ordinary's landfill. The slides created. Pictures. Doorways to other places. Bad things happened. Came through. That's all she gets. The rest stays locked inside. But we found help. Through one of the doorways, we met something. A being. A being? What kind of being? It's hard to describe, but it... She helped us. We managed to turn the projector off. The bad things that came through the doorways were gone. After that, your people came, tried to grab us. I ran away. They got Dylan. I left him behind. Bureau agents took your brother? Yes. He covered it up. No one believed me. I just want to find Dylan. I've been looking for him ever since. What happened to the slide projector? It sounds like another object of power. I thought you took it. The Bureau. Along with Dylan. I've never heard of it. But around here, I assume everything's classified. You know, I looked into the ordinary AWE case files after you mentioned it. Trench and Darling were both involved. I mean, yeah, makes sense. A large sense. area of the containment sector was reserved for it. The case hasn't been active for a long time. I have no idea if anything's still there. Can you tell me more about this being you found? Let's hope you two get along. She's been with me ever since Ordinary. Okay, sorry. I just had to pause for a moment. I love how in the beginning she's like, well, even last episode. She's like, you know what? I made up my mind. I'm going to tell Emily everything. 
and you know hopefully she helps me out the second she walks in she's like i'm here for my brother dylan and she went in her mind she's like that's all she's getting and then she continues to um you know ex it, like give the whole backstory of everything even talking about the shimmer in her head the the she um <laughs> it, it's it's just funny and I, I i don't know if the, i don't remember again too much of the story but thousand bucks says darling use the projector to open up you know different dimension to bring the hiss to our reality that's i mean it's 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 pretty obvious right in my head she led me to you i call her polaris as in a guiding star did polaris know about the hiss if she got you in here in spite of the lockdown she's very powerful i mean it's not like i could just walk Which into the building may help explain your test results your readings are incredible jesse now cross-referencing them with the database <laughs> i found two matches in darling's old classified files unfortunately i can't access them beyond the file codes but one was p6 referring to a prime candidate for a potential future bureau director uh, this was logged years ago dylan is that dylan the other match is on something called hedron which must be connected to these hedron resonance amplifiers somehow all I know is that Marshall went to the research sector to secure the HRA production after the his first attacked. So, Marshall seems like our best lead on Dylan. I need to go after her. How can I get to the research sector? Use my key card. The sector elevator will take you there. Marshall is the next step. What Emily told me about ordinary, my powers being connected to things in the Bureau's past. I am so close to something. Do you feel it? Something's coming. We take turns to come for a visit. I helped you. You owe me now. I miss you, Ati. And when time comes, I will come calling. I missed you. So, okay. I love how everyone just keeps giving her, like, key card accesses. Like, she's the fucking director of the building. Shouldn't she have, like, the highest clearance? And yet, we still don't have it. But the board trusts us, like, implicitly. You know, gives us, like, the gun powers and whatever. And I guess the biggest question that nobody has asked so far, not that I can remember anyway, is why was Dylan taken? You know, Jesse keeps talking about like, oh, he was taken when this happened and I haven't seen him since, but why was he taken? So, yeah. Um, and I believe we just got some new stuff. Oh, that's the wrong button. Missions. Oh, yes, the side missions. Easy go peasy. Maintenance. We have a time limit on this one? Wait. Yeah, we have a time. Oh, shit. All right. Uh, right. We'll, we'll track that one then. <clears throat> what do we get out of that? It doesn't say. All right, collectibles. Hotline. Internal lockdown. Director Trench, what have you got to say about this? So much is expected from the director. The responsibility, the privilege to steer the Bureau into dangerous waters and safely out again. To inspire and lead its people, to protect them. The board is there to advise you, but they want things in return. Yeah, what does you the board want? All this in your old, trembling hands. I had to lose everything before I could see the Bureau is the Director's life. There's no room <clears throat> for anything else. If the forces contained here escaped, we'd be dragged back into an age of superstition, terror, death. 
Assuming you think we ever really left that behind. Any emergency, any major containment breach, and the lockdown goes into effect. I implemented this security measure in my first years as director. I knew we were vulnerable. I'd personally seen the cost of sloppiness. I made sure the internal lockdown could only be lifted by a directorial override, only to be used when the director is confident the sectors are safe to be opened again. This way, the director is the last line of defense. And if I screw up, it's on me. And me alone. Love his voice, man. I wish I had a voice like that. Um... And the hiss. Okay, so the hiss are basically... They're, they're looking for people to possess to spread their message, whatever it is. It's not like we really paid attention too much. But yeah, um, I know I briefly touched upon the, the um... They say the new director can launch objects up to 20 feet. I can. Oh, shit. We never recorded any distance over five. Obviously, you never read the P6 data. Yeah, asshole. I can't do anything. I wish I could show them, but I can't do anything here. Uh, okay, so NSC convert. Oh shit! Uh, time, time, time. Where am I going? Maintenance. We gotta go down. Actually, abilities. We'll do that later. Fast travel. Maintenance. Uh, yeah, I think that's a good place to go. So I was saying, um, I know that I've briefly touched upon the the FBC as kind of being like the SCP. Uh, where it, like, um, houses all these objects of power, like, they study it and contain it, and all that shit. But what does the board get out of this? Like, I, obviously they're from another plane of existence, or in our own existence, but aliens or something? I don't know. But what do they get out of this? Why, why are they doing this? Um, where am I going? This way. And, of course, it's locked. Um... This way. Oh. God, oh, bitch. Oh, shit. Oh, you're a big boy, aren't you? Oh, jeez. Bitch. Yeah, so now you can see the health bar. <laughs> oh! Where are you? Where the fuck are you? There you are. Wow, really? Let's pick up all this help. Okay, so. Uh, where am I going? Got 17 minutes left. I think I have to go through there. I don't know how the fuck to go through there. Um... I, yeah, I, I tried. I, I don't know. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do there. If they're time missions, I'm sure we'll get more of them later on. Uh, 
Um, okay, so... I guess we will do the Old Boys Club. Find Marshall. Pope informs Jesse that Marshall went to the research sector to create more HRAs. Jesse believes Marshall may know more about Dylan. Does she? Uh, elevator was this way, I believe. Oh my god, NEC control was this way? Fuck off. No, it wasn't. Oh, I had to go to the energy converters. Right, right. Okay, anyways. Any who's it's. Can I do this one? Yes, I can. We have level two clearance now, baby. Book club. Ooh, the book clubs. Unless you. A review by Captain Lopez. These days, most young adult novels intertwine the coming of age story with either a contrived dystopian setting or a tragic romance. I mean, look at your uh, Hunger Games, uh, Maze Runner, Twilight. He's not wrong. Unless you manage to do both, God help him. God fucking help him. In the story, the protagonist and her love interest search for a cure to a virus called The Fix, where everyone were heroin addicts, which is simultaneously killing her and spreading across the whole world. To find the cure, they go on expeditions into dangerous, uncharted territories. The people all live in walled cities now because dystopian future. Yeah. Sounds about right. And along the way, they just have to fall in love. I liked how we never got to know if the fix was ever actually fixed. Why? Is that the pulp? Well, I guess not the whole point of these stories, but it's... I don't know. Whatever. I'm not going to get into the whole thing. The ending was bold, especially for young adults. The main character succumbs to the fix when she's so close to the cure and commands her love interest to go on and save the world. She knows this is the end for her, but that job can still get done. She dies out in the unknown, alone, and surrounded by danger, but never loses sight of the goal. That's a good soldier's death. I give this book 3 out of 5. I feel most of the teenage angst is a little lost on me, but I'd recommend it to my brother's kids. Well, good. we'll see how the uh, rest of the book club feels about it. Okay, up to the elevator. And on the, out of maintenance. Oh, it was already open for us. How nice. It's like it knew. We had to go to the research sector. So, you guys are all having a great week. Happy New Year to everyone. Which was New Year's when I recorded the last video, but happy actual New Year now. Yep. Central Research. Oh, that's cool. Oh, thank you. Oh, hi. Somebody thought this video would make for great internal communications. I'm looking at you, Mr. Tomasi. Ow. This is where the magic happens. Yeah, I guess. I mean, there's magic anyway, happening right now. I've been here for 24 years now. I've always been here. And, and through those years, We've made astonishing discoveries, authored studies of grave importance. How do I how do I look? Okay. Work, there is one thing we know, and that's how little we truly know. Jesse, watch Rest your presentation. Assured, we're committed to keep pushing the known laws and borders of reality, and to make the bureau proud. So, welcome. Thank you. Assuming you have the necessary clearance, and and do follow the safety protocols. Read the manual. Otherwise, bad things will happen. Research sector, huh? Home of the Bureau's mad scientists. Aw. Uh, they're just darlings. Yeah, see what I did there? Alright, so. Whereabouts are we going? Find Marshall. Oh. They're coming out of the walls now. 
Oh, fuck off. I... Great. Come on, you bastard. Oh, hi. Goodbye. Yeah, you like it, bitch. Anyone else? Oh, I wish I could pick up my guns. Whoa! Where? Where? Where you be? Oh, there you be. Sorry I'm making a mess of your research center, but... These guys started it. Nice. Oh, jeez. Uh, didn't want to fall, but... Oh, God. They got the higher ground. Ah, shit. Oh, shit. Uh... Fuck. Alright, you guys just stay there. I'll come up to you. How did I miss that? Anyone else? I can hear you guys. Oh, there you are. Oh my god, come on guys. Ah! Run! Right in the dick. Right in the pee hole. Yeah, I got you. Yeah, I got you. Don't be extra, Don't extra surprised. <laughs> that was cool. Ooh. Anyone else? Yeah, bitches. Okay. Uh... psychology nice all right before we go in there let's take a quick gander around at the mess at, at the areas around the mess we created okay we were up here or up there i believe yeah i think we came up that way or from that way so there's a shelter. Ooh, we got briefing. Emergency call summary. <laughs> Event summary. A possible AWE in which an unnamed individual experienced transcorporeality via a phone line. That's gotta suck. Event is notably similar to AWE redacted in which redacted. Event response. Event is believed to have been caused by blank, and as a result, the following measures have been taken to prevent blank. Well, that was very helpful. 
The His Sniper. Beauty Multimedia. Oh, this was Darling's. Welcome to Welcome the to Right, right. We don't need to watch that again. Gimme. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Gimme fuel, gimme fire. And that which I desire. It's like I can float. Like a flutter by. Yes, I know what I said. Alright. Where was that? Oh, another shelter. I'm actually a little surprised, considering how many shelters we've come across, that nobody's in them. I mean, just that one time with Emily Pope, but like, no one, when pe when they heard like people screaming and shouting when the Hiss were invading, nobody thought to, uh, you know, go in the shelter. And maximum six, you can definitely fit. You can fit like 20 people in there, easy. But I guess when shit hit the fan, they're gonna do what all white people do, like, what's going on? What, what, what's that? Hey, hey, Frank, look, what, look what's going on there. Idiots. Morons. Alright, am I gonna, am I gonna die going here? No witnesses. Oh, that is, that is a, that is a way down. That is a long way down. Can I... Can I? Oh, I can't. You know, would it kill you guys to just tone it down just a little bit? Just, just a little bit. Threshold Utility. Thresholds have always been sources of great inspiration and great challenge. When a new threshold manifests in the oldest house by Redacted, we never know what new discoveries it will provide to the Bureau, but we must always seize these opportunities. This report will examine the process of distinguishing recent threshold effects based on their utilitarian possibilities. The quarry brought Black Rock, one of our most invaluable discoveries, but if the mold has any scientific value, the mold, it has been difficult to find due to the lengths we must go, uh, we must go to in fighting back the particularly prolific plant. These are very distinct cases and worth comparing as their study offers vastly different dangers and rewards. Fascinating. Just making sure, yeah, camera's good. Missions. What's this one? Oh, I need with the Pierce mode. Uh, without dying. With a service weapon. All oh, right, I've been mainly. Mainly force pushing or force throwing shit. All right. Uh, let's take a look at the cafeteria. See what kind of food they got. This is a really small cafeteria space, considering how big this fucking research department is. And I wonder if. Each department has its own cafeteria. What's for lunch? Cheese and vegetable stew? With organic pasta? Creamy creamy salmon pasta? Creamy salmon? Broad bean and potato. What the fuck is broad bean? Turkey and potato? Spin spinach crepe? Lingonberry jam? Boiled? I have no idea what the pot potato is he? I have no idea what that is. Pea soup, vegetable fruits, pancakes, vegetable fruits, carrot risole, curry, and sour cream sauce. Chips. Chicken nuggets, curry, and sour cream sauce. Enjoy your meal. LL is low in lactose. L is lactose free. G is gluten free. Uh, contains allergenic something. Vegan. It contains car. Cheese contains car. Oh, v v e g is contains v is vegan. V e g is vegan. There we go. All right. Cool. Uh, let's 
Oh, sorry, 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 guys. I'm so sorry. Hubert's Black Rock Analysis. Hi, Carla. Does it strike you as odd that Darling insists on having us appear in those bizarre videos of his? I mean, we just stand there. He doesn't even let us have lines or anything. Don't get me wrong. Beats a day in the lab. Plus, it's always great to work with you. Oh, yeah. I finished a comparative analysis of the two Black Rock samples you sent. The prism, or whatever you called it. I filed them in the usual place, under C for Carla. A handy mnemonic device, right? Ha ha. Anyway, let me know if, you, if there's anything you want to discuss about the data. I'll gladly explain. Maybe we could chat about it over some drinks, or dinner even. I can't remember the last time I had a good steak. Maybe we could go together after work sometime. I'm free tomorrow. All the best, Hubert. You know, it just occurred to me. I wonder... I, I I don't know how many of you guys have seen Severance. Um, a fantastic show, by the way. And I, I don't know why Apple just hasn't done a season two yet. Um, I wonder... I, I don't want to spoil what goes on in Severance. But I wonder if they use the same thing that they do um, in, in the FBC. It would certainly keep a lot of, you know, need-to-know secrets under wraps. You know what I mean? Like, make sure that nothing gets out. Um, I, yeah, that, that'd be, that'd be interesting. Radio. Nothing's playing. Oh. It's probably copyright music or something. Okay, let's go to parapsychology. Which uh, Pete, Venkman, Pete Venkman has uh, has a PhD in. Oh, no, no, no. Come on, man. She's in trouble. I need to reach her. Yeah, I know. Can I jump in? I cannot. I didn't think I could. Okay, let's go the long way, as we usually tend to do. Uh, okay. Go here. And then we go here. We do that. Parakinesiology. to be so loud about it. Oh. Oh! Jeez. I did not see that until the last second. Um... Yeah, that was, uh, yeah. Yeah. That was, that was my fault. That was entirely my fault. I admit what I'm wrong. Bloop. Okay. Are you shitting me right now? Please don't tell me I have to fight over. Are you fucking kidding me right now? Oh. Oh yeah, I forgot about you guys. Is that guy sitting? No, you know what, guys? I'm not in a good mood. This is not cool. OK. 
Okay, at least it's not the whole thing. Like, fucking seriously? Oh my god. Janky ass fuck. You guys can all get fucked. More stuff going on. No? Okay. I think it's just these guys. You know Alright, that's enough chanting. Oh, no. Anymore? Okay. You know, I just realized what's going what's in this room. There's more? Oh, there's right there. Oh, there's someone there. Kind of messed up. So I guess it just cycles through that. Okay, let's read this. Emergency call supplement. Transcript transcript of a call to the California State Emergency Services. Dispatcher, 911, what's your emergency? Voice, hello? Hello, I'm here. Can you hear me? Dispatcher, I can hear you, ma'am. Where are you? Voice, I'm, um, inside the wires. I'm lost. Ma'am, ma have you been drinking tonight? I feel like I'm stretching through the wire t towards you. Don't hang up. I might go if you hang up. Go where, ma'am? Go. Gone. Away. Okay, can you describe your surroundings? Unknown noise. Ma'am? Hello, ma'am? Dispatcher attempted to call the number back, but it was no longer in service. That's freaky, man. That'd be freaky. So, okay. That person's there. What's in here? Oh, there's blue there. This, there's a lot of floating. And another one here.
Huh. Interesting. Oh, look at that area. All right, let's move on. Astral Exhibition. The Astral Plane. It's similar to an ice plane, what you see is not very long as yet. Regardless, this place is vitally important to the Bureau. Most information on the Astral Plane is, is classified, but we can talk in broad strokes, keeping in mind that these are staggeringly complex systems, and simplification does them no justice. Now, the white non-space, the ever-present inverted black pyramid, the board, all linked, intrinsically tied to the oldest house, tied to the director, the process of choosing a director, tied to all objects of power in terms of who controls them. Yes. Yeah. I mean... That was kind of obvious. Claim control point. It's mine. Um, and if I remember correctly... I, I meant to miss those times. I really did. Abilities. Alright. So, 20% to health. 20% to energy. 50% to launch. Launch basic enemies when their health is low. Oh yeah, we have a shield, don't we? So we have four. Yeah. I'll upgrade the shield as well. Additional personal mod slot, nice. Um, this takes two, that's also two, that's three, three, and that one's also three, yeah. I do tend to use launch a lot. All right, uh, astral constructs. So we have the spin, and this is the pierce. Charge shot that penetrates armor and enemies enemies. So I guess this is the sniper mode. And this one has a generous magazine and a high rate of fire, so it's an automatic weapon. So I can't make this one, I can't make this one. Okay. Personal mod, yeah, this is where we can make mods. And the board countermeasures. So, yeah, we've done this one. So, collect reward. Spin maneuvers. Oh, reload efficiency. Yeah. Kill enemies with a service weapon in spin mode, which we do not have yet. Uh, kill his snipers. Sure, I guess. Yeah, we'll do that one. And let's add another personal mod. So what do we got? Health recovery on pickup, launch energy cost 14%. Shield strength, shield strength 38%, not bad. Launch energy cost minus seven. So this one I'm not gonna use, so let's deconstruct. Um, Health 24%, health 16%, won't use that one. 24, 27. Let's do the launch. Yeah. Let's see what else we have here. Um, so shatter, this one is the shotgun one. So currently have reload speed, no. What do we currently have? Projectiles fired, plus three, okay. So reload speed, accuracy, reload speed 13%, this one was 12. Oh, but I guess I could use that on something else. Yeah, whatever. Damage against enemy armor, 
damage while in low health, recoil, 5%, eh, that seems a little low. So headshot. By the way, one of my friends makes uh, fun of me, you know who you are, you bastard. Makes fun of me that, uh, or he made he, he made a comment saying like, it's funny that I put a headshot damage um, mod on there when I can barely even hit with the with the gun. I get some headshots in. Um, yeah, so that one. So this one's headshot, and this one is damage boost, 15%. So energy gain from headshots. I don't think I'll ever use that one. Reload speed, 13%. Eh. Damage against armor. Damage while low on health. Energy gain from headshots. There's a lot of these ones, eh? Damage against armor. Like, what constitutes his armor? Is it like, I guess it's that white bar above them. Um, against regular damage. I'll, I'll keep everything the way it is. And the multimedia, what we just read, or what we just saw. From Dr. Darling. Cool. Let's continue on. Introduction to Paranatural Topics. An early hypothesis was that the mindscape of the astral plane is subjective. But that was fast. Some good B-roll, very good B-roll. Not, not a construct of the mind, even though it is with our minds that we enter and experience it. But then one could argue that that's the case with all reality. We've been able to record footage of the astral plane by monitoring the brain activity of those experiencing it. That is the only concrete material that has come out of the astral plane expeditions. A apart from one shocking exception. In the astral plane footage, we're always in the vicinity of the pyramid. We've concluded that this, not the entire plane, is what the board controls. We have glimpsed movement native species, always in the distance, and yet, contact was made. We don't have footage of this, a technical malfunction, but when one of our astronauts returned, a brain cloud, an astral fugue, had hitchhiked a ride in his head. It ruptured out, killing the subject in question. It's a relentless predator, pursuing thoughts, minds, lethal to those the entity feeds on. Proper containment protocols are to be observed when dealing with it. <laughs> Yeah, so I guess our training grounds has been the astral plane. Um, very underwhelming, really. Just blank open space. Astral Exhibition. The astral, the astral Exhibition was originally built for the astronauts to use as a training location. A place to grow accustomed to the sights and sounds of the astral plane before diving into the real thing. We could have done a better job with it, but Redacted was being stingy with the budget. I'm guessing Trench or his predecessor. However, uh, once we discovered the redacted, we decided to repurpose the space. Similar to how zoos hope familiar surroundings will affect the well-being of their animals, we hope to observe the redacted. The redacted's behavior in an environment similar to its home dimension. So far, it just breaks everything we put in it. We put in it, or we put in with it. But Rome wasn't built in a day. Addendum. New naming conventions have been established for the astral entity now known as Astral Spike. Outdated terms in this report have been redacted. So I wonder if uh, in the last video when we were doing with the train, there was like that ball that was like, you know, it, it looked like a fucking Langolier or something. Um, that was like kind of following us around, breaking like the barriers and shit. I wonder if that's native or if they're talking about, I guess the hiss, it wouldn't be the hisses. Um, home dimension, but yeah. What what do we got here? Retro retro causal habitation. Any scientists out there, if they can make any sense of this, please let me know in the comments. What is this? 
Conscious. Whoa. Oh, well, fuck. I'm a klutz. Alright. Oh, hello. Is that the moon exploding? What are we watching? I have no idea what that is. Is that the moon, the UFO, or what? Oh, oh, oh. Oh, it's cool. It actually moves with the with the projector. Interesting. All right. Anyways, let's move on. Oh, is that where this was? Oh, that's the astral plane, I guess. Okay, up we go. Enough dilly-dallying around. I can't believe they keep that thing here. Yeah, this is what I was talking about from the last episode. That's trippy as fuck, man. So if that thing's been in there the whole time, why is it now destroying everything? Just because it's sauce? Wait, are you fucking kidding me? We're going in there? That thing killed us last time. Or was trying to kill us. Oh, for fuck's sake, are you kidding me? Oh, of course. Ah! Run, run, run. Oh, I'm supposed to lead it in there. Oh, fuck. Well, shit. Um... Hurry up! How the fuck am I supposed to... Oh my god. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Maybe? I don't know. I do not know. Oh, that leads over here. Come on. What was the bureau doing with that thing? Yeah, that's a good question. Studying, probably. Someone answer, damn it! We need backup down here. I can tell. I can tell by the the uh, I can't I can't word right now. By the tone of your voice, you know. Are you still there? Shit. We're so close. We need to yep. hurry. Yet so far. What in the fuck is that? Is that like a singularity or something? Fuck off, I thought I grabbed it. Well, thought I grabbed it there too, but apparently not. Oh jeez. Oh lordy. Oh fuck. Oh 
Oh, hi. Bye. No. Sorry. Uh, what in the fuck? Where are you? Where are you? are you? Oh, you're that thing. Oh. Yeah, that's right, bitch. Ha-ha! Two with one. Anyone else? What? I hear ya. I hear ya. Or is it that? It's that. Cleanse it. Knots information. This report reserve serves as an introductory guide to the astronaut program, including candidate requirements, training practices, and astral research procedures. Astronauts are chosen individuals who explore and document the astral plane by making physical contact with the X-ray X-ray light box. Oh, it's an object of power, and the hypnosis lab, a section of the parapsychology division. Physical and psychological training is vital for the repeated transition between planes, known as dives. After each dive, astronauts must undergo a, a blank mission in the cognitive recording chairs to record their experience in the plane. I wonder if that's what those guys are in those chairs that are like flying around. If, if those are the astronauts that are actually like still stuck in those chairs and they've just been possessed while they're still in the astral plane. Um, and I wonder if like their conscious is actually still in the astral plane or if it, they're just like locked into their body, you know? Gathered data has conclusively proven that blank within the astral plane vary wildly between astral knots. On rare occasions, these dives can result in losses, often occurring when teams encounter aggressive astral entities. So, here's, a, here's something I just I just thought of. Why is the astral plane so fascinating to you when this whole story is like based on that slide projector that Jesse was talking about and that happened in Norway where they opened like a portal to another dimension when they have that like it seems the astral plane is like nothing it's just white and blocks everywhere and I guess the board is there I guess they can they're they claim a part of it I, I don't know but I don't know it's I know that there's things living in the astral plane that are like uh, like it's their natural habitat but to me it's like would you rather explore that or you know like a galaxy far far away you know what I mean and how things how do things get possessed anyway how does something become an object of power all fascinating questions. His cluster. Okay, I'm curious about this. His clusters are unique in that they are concentrated manifestations of his resonance without the need of a host. Oh, okay. They're dense spherical compressions of his resonance that serve support functions in the hierarchy of his entities. The clusters are capable of replenishing his hosts with infusions of resonance. This does not heal any physical damage inflicted on the organic host, but rather seems to rejuvenate them, allowing them to endure more bodily harm than normal. Yeah, so I guess that's... It, it heals them. It, we got that notification when we walked in. 
Um, the fact that the Hiss makes an effort to preserve its corrupted hosts underlines a level of awareness and discretion that was previously just speculation on my part. Can this entity be considered an individual or simply an extension of the Hiss as a whole? Capturing one alive would be quite interesting. It would. And I'm guessing this is the darling. An early hype. Right, yeah, we've seen that one. Okay. Groupthink. Rethinking groupthink. This study extends the work of Irving Janus, Robert Barron, and others proposing strong ca causal links between groupthink and the passive or active use of telepathy. To prove these connections, the parapsychology department carried out variations of Solomon's Ash, Solomon Ash asks, original conformity experiments using a telepathic individual as a subject. See experiments blank for details. Uh, extensive qualitative and quantitative data resulting from these experiments was then used to identify telepathic interference within the group. Further empirical findings suggest measures can be taken to safeguard against telepathic influence on behaviors by engaging in blank. Rather boldly, this paper stands to revolutionize decades of groupthink theory and provide new directions for further experimentations on the mind, including manipulation of blank and blank. Can you imagine if the hiss became like a man-made, was man-made uh, as a result of the groupthink? Spoiler warning, I guess. That, that, that's actually what happens. I don't know. I'm just saying. <laughs> Nadine sent this research for analysis. Read my pre precognitive powers. Urgent! Dr. Darling, last night I had a dream. In the dream, I was given the solution to a staffing problem I'd been presented with just yesterday. The problem is of a confidential nature and must therefore remain unclarified here. But I can assure you that the method th through which I received this helpful information was undeniably paranatural. I can only draw the conclusion that I possess exceptional precognitive abilities and as such offer my services to the Bureau's research teams. We must utilize my powers for the greater good. Signed, Miss Francis Bertram. Yeah, I, I got powers. Uh, use me. Uh, and I'll, I'll take money while you're at it. Okay, so what do we miss down here? Let's take a quick gander. Something else here. Recording chair proceedings. Before using the recording devices, please ensure the following safety measures are met. One, ensure the volunteer is securely fastened in the chair. Two, ensure the hood is placed over the volunteer's head. This will prevent the volunteer from taking in visual stimuli during the, rec the record record process, recording process, which can lower the quality of captured footage. This also prevents recording technicians from viewing the volunteer's face, which undergoes muscle spasms during recording that some consider upsetting. That I can understand. Check if the volunteer is comfortable. Activate this recording apparatus. After recording is complete, check volunteer cognitive ability using the provided questionnaire. Reminder, do not be alarmed if the length of recorded footage exceeds the volunteer's period of unconsciousness. Astral dilation is a known issue. If any problems arise during this process, contact your supervisor. I don't know how that would make sense. The length of recorded footage exceeds the volunteer's period of unconsciousness. Yeah. Like, does that mean... Like, time moves slower and the actual, like, the length of how much how much time was recorded is longer, or, or does it mean, like, don't be alarmed if you recorded 10 minutes of footage, but the guy was out for two hours or something, you know? Okay, I think that's it. Oh shit, we have a... I didn't even realize that. Fast travel to the... Wait, where am I going? Personal protect... Uh, go to the mail room. Alright. Mail room, mail room. Mail room. I didn't even realize that. Sorry for everyone that was like yelling at me.
Um. Okay, where's the mail room? Okay. Oh, there's actual people here. Oh, jeez. Oh my god. Uh, healing, please. Oh my god, what the fuck is that? I need the heals badly. Like, badly, badly. Where? Are you bad? Yes, you are. Up there? I got this, boys. Oh Jesus! Oh Jesus! Oh God damn, that was cool. Oh, hello. We're almost there, boys. We're almost there. Behind me. Oh. Of course. Of course this big fucker. Yeah, baby! Nice work, fellas. Fantastic job. Or not. Wait. Are we done? We're not done. Where? Now we're done. Great work, guys. Fantastic work. So, what do, what, what, what do I do? What did I get out of that? So what did that do exactly? Uh, no, it's not down there. Sorry, I, I don't know if it said that I got anything. I wasn't paying attention. Um, but hey, finally completed the... The, the the without dying one kill enemies without dying uh energy recovery great kill his troopers your arm troopers just one i guess uh, the troopers are the big fucks okay uh speaker marshal parapsychology right Right, right, right.
Okay. Is that is that the intercom? Oh. Marshall, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Who is this? My name is Jesse Faden. I'm coming to help. Did you see her eyes? Hold on. They just went cross-eyed for a minute. We need to talk. She got that right. She's like, I'm just fading. More of you? Really? Oh jeez, no. Not the exploding ones. Oh, you guys with the shooty ones. Uh, elevator ding. Okay. But do we not go this way? We'll take the elevator to reach Marshall. I'm guessing we're gonna come back this way. Because otherwise, why? Or was this? Yeah, okay. So this is where we were blocked up. Yeah, yeah. So we had to go that way. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. I know, I know, I know. I know, Jesse. You tap dancing? I have never seen an elevator like this. Where the doors are just right next to each other like that. I've seen doors on like the opposite ends, but never like this. Welcome uh. to the party, ma'am. Marshall is right down the hall. Thanks. Um, don't listen to them. Just... Hear your own thoughts. Take control of them. Um, yeah. Yes. Luck and probability, eh? Eh? I don't need your luck. So we got the lucky cat. Is that the fish that was like singing songs and spouting satanic, like singing satanic songs and shit? What is wrong with you guys? Oh, it's a four leaf clover. I'm like, what the fuck am I grabbing? There you are. I was starting to worry. Were you? No, you weren't. Just give me a minute. I'm looking around. Horseshoe. How, how could you forget the horseshoe? So if you have it down, it's bad luck. If you have it up, it's good luck. Interesting. And what was over here? Is that a luck thing? I guess if it hits the elephant, it's a good luck thing. Interesting. So what happens if I leave them all on? Do I get like an achievement or something? Oh no, it has to be up. So it, it, so it gets lucky. Um, yeah, leave that there. And then this thing. We don't get any more lucky. Or maybe I have to grab this. I don't know. Whatever. Whatever. Let's put this guy back. 
we don't need luck. We got all the good luck. All right. What you got for us, Marshal? Congratulations on your appointment, Director Faden. Thank you. I'm Helen Marshall, head of Bureau Operations. Zachariah is dead then, and I assume you found his gun. Just call me Jesse. Trench told me to find you. He said you could help. And he told you this through the hotline. Makes sense. None of this phases her? Really? Here's the situation. Darling created the HRAs in a lab nearby. We need more if we're gonna survive this attack. My rangers can't secure the lab alone. Not against those things. We need more firepower. At least she seems to know what's going on here. She could know about Dylan. I can clear out the hiss. I'll be your firepower. That's a good answer. Is she testing me? Darling has systems in place to protect his labs. This should help you get past them. We'll talk more after you clear out the hiss. So I know... Rangers, let her through. It's been asked before, but where is Darling? Him. Sorry, but we can't risk a breach. Yeah, fit. that's alright. That makes sense. Ooh, Damn. nice envelope. Yeah, there, there they are. Alright, one thing at a time. We have to help them. Yeah, they're getting healed. Oh, come on. Ritual division. You are definitely not a good guy. Don't shoot me. Oh. Oh. Oh, they're all coming after me! Great work, guys. Great work. Nice teamwork. Yay, friendship. Okay. Before we go ahead, let's check and see what was going on in that room. Was it the bathroom? Oh. I gotta go potty. Anyone? No. 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 Nope. 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 I like how the toilet's just like, whoop. It's like, set at attention. We got a visitor. Alright, this is a big waste of time. I just see something there? No. I don't need to talk on the map. I know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm doing. Synchronicity lab. Alright, so that's not gonna happen right now. No. Don't hiss at me. Don't be rude. Um, where did my friends go? Oh, I need to... Oh, 
Oh. Hi. Out of you. Oh, I see what he does. That's a shield. And then when he blows his load, he becomes vulnerable. I, I see it. I see it. I see it. Yeah. Really? Goodbye. No his troopers in all this? Okay, let's try this again. Let's see, can we make another gun now? No, oh, yes we can. We can make the pierce. Cool. And then we can upgrade the pierce, which we can't yet. Insufficient material. Um, then we go. Oh, we could change the form here. Sure. Then we can see rate of fire, zoom, damage enemy against enemy armor. Wow, 51%. All right, let's try it first. Uh, okay, so that's the regular one. Woo! So it's two shots on the So this definitely... Oh, wrong button. This definitely needs a zoom of some kind. 12% zoom. Ew. Damage while aiming. I mean, against enemy armor is definitely good. Let's let's try the zoom. Did you see someone move? No. Oh. I can't tell if I can't tell how much of a zoom that is. Alright, you know what? I'm just going to take the enemy armor. Cool! And... Shelter. Let's see what documents are hiding in here. Threshold... Oh my god, the Threshold Kids proposal. With the recent arrival of the blank, there are certain glaring gaps in the Bureau's ability to educate and raise a young blank. A young child? I mean, why would you blank that out? There are no other blank for blank to play with, and blank is expected to learn about a frightening new... about a, a frightening new concept. English much? Blank will require a slow, blank-friendly introduction to paranatural topics. With this in mind, allow me to introduce The Threshold Kids, a television show in which a cast of cheerful puppets explain the dangers of living at the Bureau, but also show the fun side of the par paranatural. Budget would be minimal. I took a few puppet-making courses at my local community center. We can have research staff build the sets, record the footage, and even do the voices. 
It will be good for morale, and I guarantee Blank will respond positively to these videos. We can't expect the Blank to enjoy lectures and people in lab coats, but as television has proven over the years, Blank love puppets. Do they, though? I mean, I guess Sesame Street is, like, beloved, and it's it's all puppets. Okay, so the Hiss Warp. Yeah, it's that big guy. That big man pajama. Ritual office. Protective studies. So that's where we need to go. Let's take out the office real quick. Let's see what rituals are being done here. Ah, this is more your traditional elevator. Um... Yeah. Carla, file received. Thank you for the file. It was very helpful. Oh, I guess this is the one that we found in the cafeteria from um, the other guy who was like, I don't know why Darley puts us in his videos. We just stand there. I re-archived it with the Black Rock research in case you need to refer to them again. Yes, the video shoots are always interesting. I expect my availability for these for those to decrease in the future. However, as my analysis of this newly discovered Black Rock variant is reaching a critical point. I hope you will be able to attend them still. Darling seems to be under a lot of pressure lately, and I'm sure he would appreciate any support you could provide. Regarding the analysis you provided, I do not have any questions. Thank you for the expeditious delivery. Regards, to research, spe research specialist Dr. Carla Vaughn, Federal Bureau of Control. Damn, denied. No dinner. No dinner. Sorry, bro. What, what was his name? I'm actually curious now. Uh... Hubert. Sorry, Hubert. I'm really sorry. Didn't work out. You know what? Carla seems like a bit of a tight ass. You, you probably probably dodged a bullet. Uh, I saw you drop. I was nowhere near you and you dropped. Rituals. Tangible effect of rituals. Obsessive compulsive disorder, hoarding, anxiety disorders, while manifest Okay, that was it. While certain manifestations 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 of these conditions are simply the result of mental illness, sometimes the individuals are simply performing blank cold rituals. The blank of rituals can vary. Numerology, dream logic, forfeiture, verbal formula, repetition action repetitive action, sorry, and casual tethering are just some of the procedures involved. Some rituals are consistent, such as pulling the light switch cord three times to enter the motel, but some are erratic. I know for the, the light switch cord it said like the rule of three applies. Um, yeah, that's pretty much the OCD thing. While most people engage in minor rituals every day, the vast majority do not understand the importance behind their actions. Avoiding disaster, amassing luck, or simply locating lost keys are all the result of daily rituals. Individuals who recognize a deeper meaning behind these compulsive actions are inherently aware of the paranatural world and, when located, should be considered for employment at the Bureau. Well, I have this thing where, like, I have to do whatever I do, like, the opposite has to happen. Like, if I accidentally click my tongue on, like, the left side... I got to do it on, like, the right side. Or if I, uh... If my finger grazes against my thumb, I got to do it on the other side. I don't know. I don't know why I do it. Maybe the world's going to end if I don't. What's going on here? I don't know. Alright, back up we go. What a waste of an elevator just for our office down here. Pain elevators. Is that supposed to be a reference to Max Payne? That's so that's so funny. Max way 20 people. Yeah, it even says Max Payne. See? Huh? Huh? Oh remedy. 
You're so crazy. Protective studies. Yeah. That's what I'm doing. I've noticed a lot of weird symmetry going on in this building, you know? Like, like look at this hallway. There, it's... Like, how often do you see buildings like this where, like, the symmetry is exactly, like, perfect? Even over here, when you're walking over here, you're coming in here, there's a desk on either side, and it's got the exact same things. I've been noticing it a lot. It's, it's just... It's just really funny. Alright, what do we got here? What do we got? Got nothing. What are these? I see those things down there. Keep your distance from the glass. But why? For what reason? Shit. Well, no more evidence of whatever is going on there. Wait, was that a camera? It, was... it is a camera. Don't say anything. This one. First try. First try. There you go. There you go. So nothing in there either. Nothing in there. Nothing of value. Nothing of value at all. What the fuck? Rubber ducky. And it's... It's got like a weird... Well, I'm not doing it anymore. I had like a weird, like, sh not shimmer, but. It's like smoke or something coming off of it. Weird. Altered item number 52 AE analysis, session two. I will begin by introducing various stimuli to the item. There it is. A low voltage electric shock. No response. Next, I will introduce... Not even a squeak. ...via a standard Bunsen burner. Object appears to be melting. No response. Next, a series of solutions will be applied, each with a different value on the pH scale, from 0 to 14. Gotta add the, the, the liquids... To enhance the immersion. No to make you feel like you're actually yeah. there. Next, I will attempt to communicate. Can you understand me? Can Quack. you understand my words? Quack. Quack, if you can understand my words. No response. This concludes session two. We'll need time to prepare further tests. Have concluded. It is, in fact, just an ordinary rubber ducky. Is this what they do all day? Just random objects like... Uh, okay. What is it? Mission. Go to pneumatics. Uh... I think this is just like a way to... Kind of keep it going. Like... Not keep it going, like... Um... In case you're done with the game... A way to like kind of keep you playing the game. Um, I don't know. Someone tell me if there's actually this a reason for lab? those. Okay. You must like these HRAs. Sounds like Darling built them, and most of the things around here. If Marshall can't help us with Dylan, he's our next best bet. Assuming he's not dead. Indeed. Over by the nope. I heard that. I I heard that laugh. Don't laugh at me. That's not very nice. 
Okay, what's the point of this room? That was it. Alright. Well, mission accomplished. Who laughed at me? That wasn't very nice. What, what, what's over there? I want it. Whatever it is, I want it. Oh. It's an astral blip. Open sesame! Okay. I, I, yeah, I knew what I was doing the whole time. See? You don't know what's going on in here. You don't know. You let me hear. Any idea how to make it work? Yeah, just punch a few random thing buttons and get it working. That's, that's how science works, right? Yeah, see? Dimensions. Too powerful for us. Maybe? For our use? Oh, is that the Black Rock? Boop, 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 boop. See? Oh. Hello again, Director. It Hi. We have a new problem. Uh oh. We need to get the HRA machine working. I've replaced a couple of spark plugs, but <laughs> this looks a bit more complicated. Darling must have had a system. Randomness isn't in his nature. The punch cards, the symbols, the terminals. How do they connect? I'll see what I can do. I am great at the problem solve. Okay, what did I do? I picked something up. And I... Yeah. Okay, I clearly need more. Or not. Wait, did this go in here? No, wait, I, I didn't want to... I'll take it, I'll take it back. Black Rock Prisms. Black Rock Prism. Sorry, scratch my foot. Black Rock Prisms are unique formations of Black Rock. Distinct. Yeah, no thanks. Distinct in both their shape and potency. While the density of Black Rock damp dampens paranatural forces, the unique blank structure of prisms retain frequencies in the range blank to blank hertz with perfect blank harmonization. This report analyzes the result of a focusing a blank through a harmonized prism onto a blank methods. Oh, methods. Sorry, guys. Methods for imprinting of non-physical fields onto blank, imbuing them with the properties of the harmonized resonance blank in the prism will be explored and explained. Okay. Multimedia. AI. Oh, that was the ducky. That was the ducky. So, we need to find all the punch cards. Yeah, I, I know. That's what I'm doing. Well, I think I got all the punch cards. There's four of them, right? Um, Before I do that, let's head up here. Let's see, let's see what's going on on this side. So I think they're all showing the same thing. Because I remember that kind of umbrella logo. And this pattern. Oh, and another punch card. A punch card. So four. Okay, so does that mean... So there's... I think there was five terminals. So four... Does that mean I just put it in one and four? So I have this one. Or 
Or do they say different things? Each punch card should correspond to a terminal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this one is showing a different one in the fourth one. Hmm. So that's two. Oops. Let's see what happens if it's just those two. No. Two. So there's five. These whiteboard drawings may be important. Yeah, I know. Thank you. So. Is there anything out here that I missed? No. So this one is showing the cube on two and three. But the one downstairs was showing the umbrella on two and three. And the fifth one as well. So do we just do it randomly? No, there's no way we do it randomly. That'd be too much. We're missing Looks something. Like he was working on something to do with these yeah, thank you, Marshall. Thank you. I'm missing something. Oh, there's another one here. Fuck. Sorry, guys. Um, so, second one is that one. Okay. So, three is the whole cube. Yep, that one. And then, second one is this one. What are the symbols mean? Marshall, I swear to God. Okay, so. This should be it. No. What did I do wrong? Oh my god. You see that? Oh, now she moved. Oh. Oh god, the eyeballs. Oh, oh god, your tongue. You got, oh my god. What do these whiteboards mean? Stop moving. Oh, that is freaky, man. All right, anyways. Um, I got that right, right? That one's the whole cube. Five is that one. Well, five, this one was the process of elimination, I guess. Two was just the left side, yeah. And then one was the umbrella. Try different combinations. One of them has to work. Can we affect this? I'm really sorry, guys. Uh, I'm just trying to figure this out here. Why isn't this working? Because, like... So that one we put into five. That created the feedback loop. What well, is this? Is too strong. 
maybe it's saying these are not the orders to put them in. So, okay, let's take these back. At least it's two, three, and five. These are... Let's leave that one in there. Let's just switch three and five. No. So let's switch... Let's switch three and five back. And we'll put two into three. That one worked, okay. There we go. You would get it eventually. Darling's prototypes have a lot of issues. We need a new plan. Okay. We need more Black Rock prisms to make this machine work. Darling has another lab down in the Black Rock processing site and maintenance. That must be where he keeps the prisms. I've been to maintenance already. I can find my way. But how long will that take? Nothing here is simple. I need to ask her now, before I go. I need something from you first. What do you know about Dylan Faden? I knew this was coming. Lives are at stake here, and we need this machine working to save those lives. Once that is done, Director Faden, then we can talk. Convenient. She's right. As much as I don't want to admit it, I'm the only one who can help. How are you Fine. the only one? I'll get the prisms first. Dylan will have to wait just a little longer. But like, don't I know call me Director. Jesse is fine. Like I know she's got abilities I'll and call shit. But she's got yeah, soldiers. This key card. Thanks. Emily Pope has set up a base in executive. Once I have the prism, I'll meet you there. Right. I'll move out immediately. And keep an eye out for Darling. Finding him might be the key to stopping the hiss. It's just one large scale HRA. It's there now. We are about to be exposed to a different kind of resonance. Hostile, viral, invasive resonance. I think that's, that's what the Hedron resonance amplifiers are for. Taking the protection Hedron can provide us and keeping us from being wiped out. Here, this will lead back to central research. Can we have a quick chat before I go? No? Alright. Let's go. I'm surprised we can't access the emergency supply storages. I mean, I don't know what will be in them, but still. Central research. Oh, okay, we're back here. So original division's all closed off. We 
want to go to maintenance. Uh, which one exactly? Maintenance, central maintenance. Central maintenance. Central maintenance? Let's go maintenance sector. Let's just go there. We'll figure it out. Ooh, maybe we could see if Ati has a new uh, task for us to do. He did say he would update the board every now and then. Marshall knows something about Dylan. Is he here? Is he all right? Oh. HRAs first. They'll help save everyone, including Dylan. Once I find him. Oh, Black Rock is Can over you there. you keep him safe? Like you do with me? Shimmer. Why does everything have, like, such a weird glowy effect? Like, look at the door frame. Look at the floor. Not everything has a sparkle like fucking Edward Cullen. Hi! Oh, I see you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Oh, never mind. Right in the head. Yeah, I know we've kind of walked around here before. Oh! And I'm bad at shooting. That guy could not even hit me and I was like two meters away from him. I fucking hear ya. You motherfuckers. You know what? You fucking know what? Yeah. Turbine room. Oh, hi! What's click clacking? That is indeed a turbine. I don't even know if I'm going the right way. Oh boy. Um. Oh, Jizz. Jizz us. Uh, Doopy doop, don't mind me. Ooh. Notice Ocean View Motel and Casino entry point. Okay. All right, before I do this. That brings me back down there. Where the fuck am I? Access corridor. Access to what? Oh, Atlas Chamber. That, wait. Yeah. Okay, so this is right. Right? Oh, 14 seconds left. The captain bun is. Oh. OK. 
Okay. I haven't done any of these yet. I I can I can do Pierce. Kill his snipers. Should probably do the Pierce thing. Oh shit. Hello? I don't know. The lights are on. They should be open. We're looking to get a room for the night. Hello? I don't think anyone's there, honey. Come on. We'll go to that motel we passed a while back. So this does exist in the physical space. Um, I wonder if anything's changed in these rooms. Yes. Why would you need to do that? Huh. And what is this? Oh, the radio. Okay. So I guess you have to mirror the rooms in order for is it okay is this locked it is locked okay oh now they're both open okay so chairs out radios on the right picture is good and that's on the left okay so this is out Radios on the right that's yeah there we go and now this room opened to get the keys. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. And oh, that's creepy. That's me. Now I can continue towards. But what's. What? Oh, the bridge extended. Okay. I get it now. I guess you just kind of bumblefuck your way around until you figure out what, what to do in this game. Um, okay. Because, yeah, I was like... I remember this being kind of a dead end last time. Um, yeah, that brought me back there. Okay. So let's go. So now all the bridges are extended. Because I don't think they were before. Yeah, and I was up there. I was up there looking down here. Okay. Cool. Let's do it. Let's go, go, go. Okay. We need to find a way to Blackrock Processing. We do. That's where Marshall said we'd find a prism. Yes. I know I could have gone the other way around, but... Oh, maybe I couldn't have. Nope, never mind. This is the right thing to do. Reminder. If the contents of your workspace have been rearranged, removed, added to, or altered in any other way, you should immediately leave the area while speaking to yourself in a reassuring tone. This will not only keep you calm, but also the room. Thank <laughs> you for your attention. How crazy would that be? Imagine you're having like a really bad day at work and your office reacts to your emotional state. Maybe like the, the walls actually start like becoming a darker color or maybe red. 
Um, things just kind of like clatter around. That'd be crazy, man. Um, yeah. All right, what does this one say? Atlas Theory. The Atlas is a physical expression created by the oldest house. Its purpose and function are currently unknown. The specific shape and dimensions of the Atlas uh, yeah, seem to indicate a more explicit purpose than the oldest house's usual walls, floors, or shifts. The Atlas changes form, but resists observation when doing so. No visual observation has ever been made during its change, and it only ever occurs between frames when monitored by surveillance, surveillance cameras. A previous theory was that this change corresponds to house shifts and that the atlas is a redacted of the redacted itself. However, the shape changes to do however the however the shape changes do not occur at the same time as the building shifts, which makes this theory doubtful. Structurally, the atlas is made of the same blank material as the rest of the oldest house. Further observation will hopefully aid in discovering its purpose. So, I don't get it. What is the atlas? Objects of power. Did we read this one? Or watch this one? Hmm. So that's what I was saying. Like I love like the the not the double meanings, but like the indirect translations. Like there's stuff they don't even have words for. Like we don't have words for. So they can't properly convey what they're trying to say. Like what these objects of power are. Like that's that's cool. Uh resonance altered workspace, yeah. Cool, cool, cool. Do we have to use a lavatory? No, there's nothing in there. Nothing at all. Do I have to use the men's lavatory? No, I do not. Entry denied. Huh. So we can go there. We can go... We can go there. Let's go here first. Oh, good thing we did. All right, I've been getting a lot of upgrades. Let's uh, let's see some weapon mods, personal mods even. Uh, so what I have launch efficiency costs. Okay, so shield strength forty percent. I mean that's not bad. Launch energy costs fourteen. I won't be using that one. Energy recovery speed eighteen percent. I haven't been having any issues with the recovery speed, actually. But I think I've been okay. Health, 19%. Health element pickup, 32%. This is currently better than the one I have. Uh, might as well just switch that one out. And then just delete the old one. Discard it right there. 27%, yeah. Alright. So, shield strength, 38%. Evade... Energy cost minus eight, we had energy cost minus twelve. Cool. Shield strength. I mean these are these are pretty good. Thirty percent thirty eight percent and forty percent. So grip. Um damage while aiming, accuracy, projectiles fired, ammo cost per shot, minus five percent. Yeah. Projectile spread, minus 18%, exclusive to shatter. Rate of fire, 11%. Uh, I think the rate of fire is okay. Zoom might be useful. Accuracy, damage while aiming. Reload speed. Um, the reload speed I think I'm okay with. Damage against armor is always good. Rate of fire, exclusive to spin, yep. Energy gain from headshots, we can delete that. Accuracy, 11%. Damage while low on health, 44%. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I think I'm okay with what we have. Oh. I'm here an 
enemies. And that's where we were, yeah. Oh my god. Alright, let's use... Oh, I missed. God damn. Oh. It automatically... You can only hold it for a certain time. Nice. One more. One more. Boom. All right. Let's go back to this one. Let it go. Don't stop firing, even though we've all stopped firing. I heard that. I heard that. Where are you? We good? Seems like we're good. Maybe. Yep. Uh, excuse me. Wow, that guy looks bored. That woman looks like she's high or something. Look at the mirror. Hey, hey, up here. Hey! Up where? You gotta be a little bit more specific, my friend. Okay, let's see what's going on in this room. Go upstairs afterwards. Let's see if there's any items, any documents. What the? F hmm. It's funny. This looks real, this picture of uh, James McCaffrey. That looks fake as fuck. That's obviously like a fake guy. Uh, delays caused by house shifts do not count towards overtime. That sucks. That really sucks. Um, yeah, I don't think... Oh, I unlocked abilities, didn't I? Yeah. Oh, board countermeasures, too. Let's do that first. Okay. Shatter projectile boost. Spin maneuvers. Kill enemies in the research sector. Uh, I'm pretty sure we're going to go back to there sooner than later. We'll keep that one. And abilities. All right, so we got four points. Uh, shield propels debris at nearby enemies. 100% shield barrage damage. So, we've yet to use a shield. I'll be honest, I kind of forgot how to use a shield. I'll, I'll look that up in a minute. Um, I do like the launch damage. How much is that one? Because the shield, the shield strength could definitely be useful. That one's also too. You know, let's do this one. Because I, I gotta start taking. Um, I gotta start using the shield. Okay, so left bumper. Is it indefinite or. Yeah, it's indefinite. Okay. 
Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, I'm normally not like a, sh a shield guy. I'm more of like a cover guy, if that makes sense. Shelter. Let's see if it's sheltering anyone. That's a no. Why am I not surprised? These shelters are useless, it seems. It holds six people, yet there's only six, uh, three beds. One table. And, I don't know, two park benches. Okay, so I know Rish is there. Let's check out this area first. Oh, sorry. During an AWE investigation, our agents discovered a light switch cord in a Butte bungalow closet. They pulled the cord and were yep. instantly transported to the Ocean View Motel and Casino. Dream like haze. <laughs> Inside, they found a door marked with an inverted black pyramid and just like that it, it led back to the oldest house some 2,000 miles from Montana N now we're finding the cord in increasing numbers throughout the bureau somehow the two places they, they became in tune to each other the, the actual physical location of the ocean view is, is, is a mystery stepping beyond its walls has so far proven impossible a place of power like the oldest house. So how do you know it's in Montana if you don't know where it is? And clearly it has a physical... Like it's in the actual world. We saw, like, or we heard visitors trying to get in when we were there. What's this? Nothing. Astral plane. All right. Let's see what this guy has to Glad say. Glad to see you're still you. Thanks, Arish. Same with you. I'm not doing so hot. You're fine. We'll push through this. The hiss are the ones doing the pushing, Doc. Yeah, Doc. Ranger Squad Charlie 7 returned from an expedition into the quarry threshold just after 0500 Zulu. Can you please state your names and describe the purpose of your expedition? Kevin Horowitz, Rupert Wells. Our mission was to map quarry grid coordinates G29. Second objective, as always, was to find a route from the threshold entrance and maintenance Medic, to the formation. Each taken Secondary a few objective was we need to get them to a surgical station ASAP. Oh my god, really? But I don't think they're and did you encounter any previously yeah. unrecorded or entity we are moving out and I am not leaving them behind? No, do we nothing. Do? do you think we should talk about the mermaid? Excuse me? Yeah, the mermaid. Uh, yeah. Horowitz here found this mermaid in the quarry, just sitting on some black rock. She was singing this beautiful song, and he was overcome with desire. Oh, she was so alluring. I'd say she was more hey, enchanting the than alluring. Kill a hiss, I Fine, enchanting. Bottom shelf only. Um, did you tell your CO about this? No. Because it didn't happen. Nothing happened. As usual, the quarry is full of rocks. That's it. Can we go now? <laughs> Fuck you guys. Get out of here. So, sure it wasn't a siren? Not a mermaid? <laughs> Marshall, Trench's behavior. Have you noticed the recent tension between Trench and Darling? They've both been acting odd lately. Trench concerns me the most. His sudden hostility towards Darling's project is very unlike him. He was the one to approve all the Hedron research in the first place, but after Darling unveiled those HRAs, he was livid. I personally don't see any reason not to equip Bureau staff with an additional protective device, especially not if it's as strong as Darling says. What do you make of this? Have you seen anything from either of them that strikes you as odd? Let's talk in person soon, before the next Bureau Heads meeting. M. That is interesting. Why why was Trench against those HRAs? That is actually quite interesting. 
And this multimedia is just what we heard. Wait, what is the Ocean View Motel and Casino? Oh, okay, okay, yeah. Uh, loadout? Oh, right, because we have the All right. All right, Arish, what's good? Thanks for bringing down that... Whatever the fuck that was. But we are barely holding on here, boss. How's the situation outside maintenance? What do I tell him? The tr truth is harsh, but these people seem familiar with death. The truth is always good. The hiss are everywhere. Most of the bureau is lost. We need Blackrock Prison to make more HRAs for any survivors in the safe rooms. I'm here to check Darling's Blackrock lab. So to recap, uh, death, disaster, and imminent destruction. Another day at the FBC. But Darling's lab is just past Blackrock processing. But I got good news and I got bad news on that front. Good news is, it's right down the hall. Bad news is, a hiss monster has decided to move in, so that's great. Monster. That's what the Rangers said. The ones that survived, anyway. But we are just treading water here, and the hiss keep coming. Salvador would know what to do, but apparently he took a security team into the containment sector just before the lockdown happened, and well, no one's seen him since. But hey, at least we got you. You got me. Fearless leader. Yep. They shouldn't rely on me. They don't uh -oh. know me. You don't own me. They don't know how I failed people. Oh You've done God, a good get job, over it, but you should take your people and get to the base and executive. You can regroup there. I'll go deal with this monster. I'm getting kind of used to them. Aye, aye, Faden. And be sure to put a bullet in that thing for me. Done. Alrighty. Alrighty, Rue. All right, whole lot of nothing. Great storage area. I got. Oh, hello. We got that. Oh, that guy did not die in a good way. Sorry, friend. Oh, you too, huh? Oh, what the fuck? That was a little terrifying. Okay, not alive. Arish wasn't kidding about that monster. All right. Oh jeez. Oh Jeebus. That that looked painful. Anything in here? Yes. One boat. It's one boat. Oh. This is not an OOP. AI 19KE. Contain procedure. No unique procedures required. Description alt description slash altered event. Item is made of fiberglass painted to resemble a swan. Foot pedals allow the item to propel forward in water. The item emits a pulse of physical force at an estimated force of blank. Possible connection to OOP5. Measuring the exact force created by the item has been hindered by concerns from the Human Resources Department. Background. The item was seized from an activity rental service called Blank, located on Lank Blank, Lank, oh, sorry, Lake Blank, on Vancouver Island, Canada. After it ejected numerous riders over the course of a summer, bringing the boat to the attention of the media. The item was transported to the Bureau by helicopter. A containment specialist accompanied it, sent to recite formulas C.9 through 32 recursively. What occurred in the helicopter is not known, but all agents were lost in the crash. The item was recovered and then transported by train. It arrived at the Bureau without further incident. Interesting. So the containment location is the Panopticon, Floor 5, Unit 10. Okay, so I know we eventually do get to go to the Panopticon. I know that. I don't remember what's in there. I don't remember when we do, but I know we do. Because that name sounds really familiar. Um, excuse me? Is something trying to get out? Oh shit, something's getting out. That 
was weird. Okay. So. Let's go deal with this monster. Which way? I can't go. I can't go that way. So this way. You showed me the HRA when I first got here. And the machine that makes them. Can you help me find a prism? All right, monster. Where are you? Where are you, monster? Blackrock Lab, Blackrock Processing, NSC Energy Converters. KKK. Oh, right there. Redder. What is that? Shit. They're shattered. Not a single prism left. What the fuck? Where are you? Where'd you go? Oh, Jesus. Oh my god, look at my health. See you. Ha <laughs> ha. Let's hurry up and find Darling's lab. Eat it, sucker. We got a lab, a laboratory. There are areas, there are areas in the oldest house where, under the right conditions, when the frequencies match. Other dimensions leak in. We call what, these what? areas thresholds. The quarry is one of the more stable thresholds in the maintenance sector. That's that's where black rock comes from. Extra dimensional matter. It has the unique property of blocking out a lot of frequencies. A, a good thing. It keeps things stable, contained. Think of it as paranatural lead. Our research involves many dangerous things we absolutely need to keep in check that's what the black rock line fire breaks are about the panoptican container uh, cells sorry to interrupt sir but i need the code for the quarry elevator oh uh emily the codes black rock 665 neighbor of the beast get it <laughs> We can do that again. Six six five. Interesting. In the oldest house. Wait. Oh, it's probably that new hiss. Hiss distorted. Yeah. We're under the right conditions when the frequencies match. All right, Black Rock. BlackRock has allowed the Bureau to make great strides in containment procedures since it was first discovered. This report will examine how its very structure is comprised of blank density that nullifies all residents within a range of blank to blank hertz. Bureau innovations that incorporate BlackRock will be analyzed, most notably the fire breaks, feats of engineering designed to contain any future outbreaks, attacks, or other internal threats. The goal of this report is to encourage Bureau staff to explore further in innovations using BlackRock, as work in that field has markedly slowed in recent years. We call these areas thresholds. The quarry is one of the more stable thresholds in the maintenance sector. That's, that's where BlackRock comes from. You heard that too, right? BlackRock comes from a threshold. Yeah. So, the prisms must be there too. Think of it as paranatural lead. Our research involves many dangerous things we His absolutely notes. need to keep in check. That's what the Black Rock Line fire breaks are about. The Panoptican container cells. Alright, so. 
you know, we don't need to call it. Everything Boom. here is crazy. Weird, but it feels right. Like how the world should be. Does it? I am in an infinite building leading to different dimensions and I never want to leave. Even with all the horror, I'm happy. Or just the right kind of insane. Boom. Well, I thought it was gonna blow up. Nice, nice. Uh, NSC control room? Can I even get in? Maybe, maybe not. Yeah, it looks like I can. And, oh, okay. Alright, I know where we are. Alright, so I think this is a good place to stop uh, for this episode. Um, very interesting stuff. Uh, we actually get we actually got to find out how the those HRAs are made through this black rock. Uh, guess we'll find out sooner than later. Um, but yeah, uh, not as exposition heavy. This well, I guess there was a lot of exposition, but definitely more action than than we've had in the past couple of episodes. Um, yeah, I, I, I really like this game, and I hope you guys are enjoying the playthrough as well. What does that say? Oh, ventilation. Uh, actually, before we head out, let's see if there's any more new quests. Uh, ba -ba -ba. Janitor's office, yeah. Was it here? It was here. Yes. Ati. He's not a ruthless guy. Respects his elders. Makes good coffee. <laughs> so, Ati has in fact given us a new quest. What a mess. Good. What would kill a bad day? Paska mika paska. Okay, um, well, we'll head back to the access point. I don't know if, I don't know if access points are actually, like, saves. Oh, for fuck's sake. I gotcha. You know that just makes me mad. Well, that was fun. Yeah, I don't know if these access points actually kind of act as saves. Yeah, it does. I see the icon at the bottom, which is now covered by my by my camera, by me. Um, yeah. Anyways, sorry. As I was saying before, um, having a great time. I hope you guys are too. And we'll certainly continue on the next episode. I'm, I, I want to clear out that clog. I'm pretty sure it was that thing that we got in that tunnels that one time. That shit monster, whatever it was. But yeah, we'll, we'll see you next time. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you in the next one. Take care.